So here we're going to give an introduction to the SS4E. Now, we haven't put the covers on because I want you to be able to see everything. This is our exit and shear. And right here is where you will attach your runout tables. And you can adjust for the different widths. And we have the shear on. And this is the uh, the motor for the electric shear. And the, for the automatic, these are your limit switches for your top and your bottom. Uh, you go in through here, and this is, of course, your encoder. Uh, when you feed the material in, you have your two guides, and these two guides are, of course, adjustable. Uh, and the way you adjust them for the width of your material is with this hand crank here. This one crank will turn both the screws to move this set of rulers in and out. Now, uh, when you're adjusting for your material and you move that in and out, you can tweak how much of a lip you actually get on your flange. And the way you do that is with these screws right here, okay? And we have it adjusted pretty close right now. And when you get adjusted close, you put that screw and you lock that in there. You see right here? We're going to lock that in there so that this is set up uh, really close for what you want to do, okay? So if you wanted more lip uh, on, he, on this side, you would actually maybe turn this back a little, a screw or two and move this back. So that's an adjustment that is available on both sides. The other adjustment that you have is each of these drive rollers, these urethane drive rollers are on cams. And so you can loosen this and you can raise or lower this. And on the bottom, you will see the bottom also has the, the, the urethane drive rollers underneath there. Once you begin to come into the main part of the machine, you should be able to slightly turn these. See how I can turn these a little bit? Uh, they do touch, but they're not too tight, okay? And you don't want them too tight. They should be able, when you set this up, to slide a piece of material in those, and it should touch, but not be real, real tight. So looky here. See, I can turn that, okay? It's, it's rubbing, but I can still turn it. That is a correct adjustment for that. If you need to make this tighter, okay, again, be careful, but what you need to do is loosen these bolts on the front and loosen the, uh, the bracket, and then these screws here can tighten that because there's a rubber piece in there and here, so you can tight, tighten that. Once you have this set the way you want, we suggest that you tighten these um, holders here, just so in transportation, or in case you bump against this here, you don't lose where you want to be. Towards the end on this machine, we have installed the striation rollers. So there's three sets. The minimum width you need for this is 20 inch wide material. If you want to have narrower material, you'll have to take one of these rollers out and go with, with less. And to do that, you have to take these bars off and slide them out. It's a little bit of a process. In the exit end, we have two more drive rollers. Again, they're on a cam. You can uh, make them uh, tighter or looser. We have adjusted them about where they need to be. This here helps is a straightening piece for your uh, uh, male side. And then this side over here, we have adjusted here. This is a guide to help feed it right into the edge of your shear. We have a couple bearing blocks that are adjustable. So, of course, uh, when you adjust the width of your coil, you have to, we have different bolt holes for this guide. This is going to stay about the same, okay? But you're going to maybe move that in and out wherever you want. And this whole shear, top shear, in order to get the optimum uh, cut on this, you can slide these back and forth because this, this, uh, shear blade, which is on the female side, is different than the rest, has, has a number of different points on that. So 
Uh, I'm going to now take us over to the uh, computer controller, and there's two different ma modes. There's manual mode where you can set to shear. So I'm going to just hit hit this. I'm going to hit shear, and you can see the shear go down and back. All right, that's on on manual mode. You can jog reverse and you can jog, jog forward. Of course, if you jog reverse, you have to be careful and it's best not to go back too far. Let's go back into the main screen and we're going to set up an auto. Uh, let's just do a couple pieces, uh, six inches long. We'll do two pieces. You can set any quantity you want. You know, we could set six and hit enter. Okay, but let's just do two pieces here for our demonstration and enter. And you can see the total feet that this machine would run through, 116 feet. And so we're going to hit run. It's going to run. It's going to stop it at all. I can remove that out. It's going to run. It's going to stop it at all. So there you go. So this is the machine here, and you can see, uh, again, uh, some of the electrical controls. This is for our PLC control, and you shouldn't have to get into that. Again, this is with covers. You can see we have horse and a half uh, motor. This is 110 uh, with a, a gear, back, uh, gear reduction. And so, again, uh, this should help you with your, your machine that you need.